Welcome to Concept Guru. Learning is fun. In this video, we will find out how a plant makes food. Leaves have a green substance in them called chlorophyll and that gives them their green color. Chlorophyll also helps leaves to make food for the plant. Now do you want to know how it does that? First, the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. These are carried to the leaves through the stem. The stomata take in carbon dioxide from the air. The chlorophyll in the leaves traps sunlight. Then the leaves use the energy in the sunlight to change carbon dioxide and water into something called glucose. The plant uses this glucose as its food. The food made by the leaves is then carried through the veins and the stem to other parts of the plant. So what did we learn? The process by which plants make food from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight is called photosynthesis. The word photo means light and synthesis means putting together. During photosynthesis, oxygen gas is given out by the plants. Now that we learned about how plants make their food, let us see how do plants use their food. Plants use the food they make for various purposes. They use the energy from the food to grow and to produce leaves, fruits, seeds and more leaves. Plants store the food they do not use as starch. Starch is stored in different parts such as fruits, leaves, seeds, roots or stems. Plants use this stored food when they cannot prepare food by photosynthesis. Animals and human beings eat these parts of plants as food. If chlorophyll is needed to make food for the plants, how do non-green plants make food? Hmm. Molds and mushrooms are non-green plants. They do not have chlorophyll in them. So they cannot make their own food. They get their food from dead and decaying plants and animals. The leaves of some plants such as croton have chlorophyll but they appear dark red. This is because of the presence of a red substance that hides the green chlorophyll. Now I have a question for you. Does photosynthesis take place in such leaves? Think, think. Yes, it does because chlorophyll is also present in them. Good. Now let's learn about something we call as transpiration. The leaves of plants also give out extra water in the form of water vapor. This is called transpiration. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from the leaves of the plant. Transpiration helps the plant to keep cool. When water is given out by the stomata of the leaves, the roots of the plant pull in more water from the soil. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Press the bell icon for our latest videos.